Wealth is not created by dividing wealth. And the problem that we see in so many of the international bodies' estimates and in broker estimates is that they give too much of a positive impact to demand-side policies. What are demand-side policies? Fundamentally, more government spending and more debt. Uh, the brokers and uh, international bodies give a tremendous level of multiplier effect to these measures that never happen. And that is why we get out of crisis with less productivity growth, with less uh, growth in real wages, and slower. This is very important, particularly in a pandemic crisis, in which demand-side policies generate an even weaker effect on GDP and on uh, investment. Therefore, we need to be extremely cautious about the recovery estimates of brokers and international bodies, because they are fundamentally flawed by a perception of multiplier effect that A, has not happened before, B, is unlikely to happen in an environment in which the transfer of wealth from the productive sectors into the uh, more indebted sectors is even larger than ever before. More government spending and more debt are not creating more productive investment and more consumption. What they're doing is perpetuating structural imbalances. And therefore, we're going to get out of this crisis with a lot more debt, not with less debt, because the growth that will be generated afterwards is going to be much weaker than the one that so many of these estimates have in their numbers. Not only much weaker, but less productive. And this is critical for the problems of inequality and the problems of uh, cost of living perception from uh, citizens. Therefore, we need to be extremely prudent about growth estimates, but we need to stop relying on demand-side policies that don't work in a pandemic crisis in which what is needed is to support the productive fabric with supply-side measures. Thank you very much.